Hey guys, this is Jamin with PC Monkey bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here with me. I'm going to be showing you how to deal with an issue that's kind of becoming more common these days with Lenovo's, unfortunately. That's an error 1962-1962. And sometimes that's going to be paired with a no operating system found error. So sometimes you'll see them both together. Um, to start with, if you have any questions or comments, if you see something that throws you, um, or if you're not sure you're on the right video, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. As time goes on and I get more feedback on this video, I will add to those. Uh, so hopefully it can save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see yours there, obviously leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day at least. So this 1962 error, um, also this no operating system found error, it can be caused by a number of things. Uh, basically what's happening is your computer is trying to start up, it's trying to pull that operating system and load it, and it can't for some reason. Um, and that could be a variety of reasons. Either your hard drive is faulty, maybe the hard drive connection is faulty. It could be Windows startup issues, non-Windows related startup issues. It could be settings in BIOS, uh, your base system that loads up for Windows. Uh, so there are a variety of things that could be causing this. So I want to take you through a bunch of troubleshooting steps right now to show you how to troubleshoot for each of these. Um, depending on when this error occurred, you may want to address these troubleshooting steps in a different order than I'm showing you them in. For example, if you dropped your laptop, if it had a, a, a hard hit, maybe you want to start with the hard drive uh, hardware related issues. Maybe you want to check to see if it's loose or diagnose it for damage. Whereas if your laptop didn't just suffer a fall, maybe you want to start with the operating system uh, diagnostics or the, uh, the BIOS troubleshooting. So keep in mind that um, if, if you have any reason to think that it's being caused for a certain error, you may want to skip some of the steps and, and do ones that are more likely. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is shut down your computer and make sure everything's unplugged from it. Any external devices or systems, any external hard drives, um, a mouse or, or a keyboard that plugs in USB. Unplug all the USBs and external devices from your computer. Sometimes your computer gets confused and it tries to pull an operating system off of an external device. Um, and if that's a mouse or something else, it obviously doesn't have an operating system to pull from. Uh, so sometimes it'll give you that error. Uh, so to start with, it's a very easy step. Unplug everything, try booting your computer up again. If you're not one of the lucky few that can fix it that easily, uh, I'm gonna move on now and show you how to troubleshoot to see if BIOS is your problem. Uh, remember, BIOS is the base system that loads up before the operating system loads up. So the, those are two different systems in your computer. And if your base system is not loading up correctly um, or if settings are wrong, then it's gonna prevent your operating system from loading successfully as well. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to get in here in BIOS and change some settings. So to get into BIOS on this computer, I'm going to hit power and start tapping on F2 right away. And there's my BIOS. Now I tapped on F2 to get into BIOS on this Lenovo IdeaPad. There are different keys that Lenovo will use sometimes on different models. So if the F2 option doesn't work, try your other function keys. I've heard of it sometimes being F12 on some Lenovo's. I've seen some Lenovo's that's function and F2 together. Also, some Lenovo's will have a Nova button on the side. You press that on startup and that accesses BIOS. Um, and there are other keys even that some models have. So I'll try to keep a running list down bottom of as I get feedback from viewers, which keys work for them on which models and hopefully build up kind of like a library uh, to help you out. But again, if, if the F2 or the F12 doesn't work, try the function plus F2, function plus F12. Um, and then if you can't find the right BIOS key, try Googling your model or just try the other function keys. So now that we're in BIOS, we're going to change some settings here. We're going to arrow over. Hopefully you have access to your arrows. If not, try your tab keys. Some of you may even have mouse access still. Um, if for some reason you don't, um, again, try your arrows, try your tab keys. If you don't have access, try using a, an external keyboard or an external mouse. Uh, but you should still have a way to navigate around in BIOS. Uh, we're going to be looking for a setting called UEFI or CSM or Legacy. So we're going to try to find those settings. I don't see anything here in, in this main part of the information. I don't see it. I'm going to tab over to the right. I don't see anything there. Tab over to the right again. It's usually not in the security tab. I'm going to tab over again to boot. And there it is, UEFI. So again, we're looking for UEFI, Legacy, or CSM. And we're going to try to change 
between whatever one you're seeing and whatever one you're not seeing. So ho hopefully that makes sense. I see UEFI here, so I'm gonna change over to Legacy. If you see Legacy or CSM, you're gonna change over to UEFI. So I'm gonna arrow up to that, I'm gonna hit enter, and it's on UEFI right now. I wanna to go to Legacy, so I'll arrow down and click on Legacy. After changing to Legacy, if you're on UEFI, and again, if you're currently on Legacy or CSM, changing over to UEFI, after you make that change, save and exit from BIOS, and then restart your computer. Uh, hopefully that'll help your operating system load. If it does, that tells you that something happened to BIOS and it reset and it changed some settings. Keep an eye on that. If it's only a one-time thing, it's not a problem. If it happens over and over again though, you may want to consider uh, replacing your CMOS battery. What may be happening is that it may be losing power and causing BIOS to reset every time. Um, consider changing your CMOS battery. There'll be a link below in the description on how to access your CMOS battery in order to change it. If that didn't solve your problem, I'm gonna show you how to do one more thing in BIOS that hopefully will reset BIOS if BIOS is what's causing the error. Once you're in BIOS, we're gonna be looking for something that says reset to factory setting, restore factory setting, something to that effect. Um, it's not in the information tab in this BIOS. Yours may look different, just look around, see if you can find it. I don't see it down there. It's not in security. Restore factory keys, that, that's not the same thing as, as, as restore factory settings. So we'll skip that. Uh, boot, not in there. Exit, right here. Load default settings. So you're gonna arrow down to load default settings um, and, and hit enter and that will reset BIOS. As with the previous step on BIOS we did, save and exit once you've restored factory settings and try re rebooting your computer. If that works, again, you've identified settings in BIOS as the issue. Keep in mind, again, changing your CMOS battery if this uh, is reoccurring. If that doesn't help, or if for some reason you can't reset settings that way, a way to make sure to reset BIOS is to perform a manual BIOS reset that involves opening up your computer, removing your CMOS battery for 15, 20 minutes, and then putting it back in, and that's a manual reset. Again, check out the video link below in the description on how to perform a BIOS reset and also how to access that CMOS battery if you do need to change it. So if the BIOS settings were not the issue, and that's not why you're getting this 1962 error or this no operating system found error, we're gonna move on and troubleshoot something else. Uh, now again, another reason this could be happening is an actual faulty hard drive or a faulty hard drive connection. So to diagnose the hard drive connection first, you're gonna open your computer up and unplug the hard drive. If it's plugged into a, a cable or a hard drive connector, you'll unplug it from there. If it's plugged into the motherboard, you'll just simply unplug it from the motherboard. After you've unplugged it, then plug it back in. Make sure it's secure and tight. Make sure it's in there the way that it's supposed to be. Um, again, if you dropped your computer, if, if it had a hit, sometimes components can come loose. Uh, so we're gonna reseat the hard drive and we're gonna see if that's a, a connection issue. If reseating the hard drive doesn't work, then it's odds are it's not a connection issue. We're gonna troubleshoot your hard drive now. Um, in my shop, again, I would use diagnostic software to test the hard drive and other components. Uh, but since we can't do that, because you most likely don't have that, we're gonna troubleshoot for the hard drive and the operating system kind of together at the same time. In order to troubleshoot whether it's an operating system issue, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to reset a Lenovo laptop. If your Lenovo laptop is not loading up correctly um, it, and Windows isn't loading, there'll be an option in that video to factory reset your Lenovo through the back end startup options. Um, generally speaking, that'll only work with older Lenovo computers though. So if you have an older computer, give it a shot, try factory resetting from there. If it's an operating system issue that's causing this error, um, that factory reset should fix it. So if the factory reset didn't work or if you didn't have access to that option at all, we're gonna do a new install of Windows 10 now. Uh, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to install Windows 10 onto a Lenovo computer. And there'll be a way in there to make your own install media from Microsoft for free. So you don't have to buy install media if that's not an option for you. Keep in mind, I said earlier that we're gonna be testing for your operating system issues and hardware issues at the same time. So what that means is that if the Windows 10 install works, you've identified the operating system as the culprit. If it doesn't work, it means most likely we've identified your hard drive as being bad. So at that point, you would replace your hard drive. Uh, you would install Windows onto the new hard drive once you replace it. There'll be a general tutorial down below in the description on how to replace a hard drive in a Lenovo computer. 
But again, keep in mind, most models are going to be different. So if you need help getting into your particular model, send me a message with what model Lenovo you have and I can help you get into that one. So those are the reasons uh, why you could be getting this 1962 error, this operating system not found error. We've troubleshooted for some BIOS issues. Uh, we've troubleshooted for some operating system issues. And we've troubleshooted ultimately uh, for your hard drive, whether it's faulty or whether the connection was faulty. So we've covered all the bases in, in this video. Uh, you will be able to fix this issue with one of these troubleshooting steps. Um, if you did get lost, if you weren't clear on something, leave me a message after checking the frequently asked questions. Um, and I'll get back to you a few times a day at least. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Um, if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.